let's build a loop everybody a loop that we can drive around I will load blender we'll uh, scale our object uh, if you haven't already go into the uh, game folder where the games installed steam steam apps common bng drive content vehicles and find you a vehicle extract it onto your desktop and then in blender go to import import collider and uh, go into where you extracted that vehicle and import in the vehicles uh, DAE file and that'll give you an idea of the size that you need to make this now I already had done that a while back I have um, I just exported just the frame of the car to the desktop so I got the uh, hopper here so you know now I know like okay this is how big this needs to be so I'll kind of move this out of the way just use it just for reference for now now what we're going to do is scale this box we're going to scale it kind of flat And then we're going to make it wide enough for it so the vehicle don't fall off of it. Maybe something like that, maybe. And we're going to scale it long ways. Something like this. I think that'll be enough. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to select it. We're going to, go to edit mode and we're going to go to loop cut we're going to put a loop cut uh, this direction I just left click once so you got one going that way and down here left click on this and type in like 400 that'll cut this up so that it bends really nicely because the box won't bend without some joints in it you know or uh, you know more polygons than that so once you get that in there what we're going to do now is uh, go to one end of it and you can hit the Z up right here to see a top view with x-ray toggled so that it's on just uh, with face select uh, with the select box draw a box over uh, let's, let's say about half of it we'll see if that works now select proportional editing then pick move or you can hit G on your keyboard but if you hit G um, make sure that you hit uh, X to move side to side now what you're going to do is use your page up keys while you're in this move mode and what we're doing is just basically uh, making it off so it's like this you see because we don't want it a, a perfect straight line in fact don't select that hit escape um, select just the bottom part down here and do the same thing hit uh, G and X so that you're only on this uh, thing and then get your circle with your page up and page down to where you have uh, uh, kind of an offset like that if you don't have this 
then your loop is just going to connect and you're not going to be able to get on it or drive off of it so we want like an offset and then left click when you're done now what we got to do is go back to object mode and just like we add the empties for the base 00, zero and start 01 we're going to add an empty but this time we're going to pick a circle all right now the circle we're going to move it by you can hit G and then uh, X X I always get them confused hit X G and then X to move it you kind of get it in the track there then hit R X and then hit control and up here at the le top left stop at 90 degrees so you got a circle laying down like this alright now what we're going to do is pick this uh, object go to the little wrench add modifier add simple deform pick bend and then the origin here click on this and pick that empty alright now if you zoom out with your mouse wheel you should see it bending some increase the angle to 360 and if you offset it like I said to it'll look like this so if you didn't do that offset all it was going to do is just connect these two points and you you know if they're connected how you're going to get on the loop so once you get it to 360 hit apply right there hit that little arrow hit apply and now that deform is in effect now what we want to do is put the bottom down here where the car is so you can hit R on the keyboard and X or you can hit R and Y and then hit control and then rotate it to uh, 180 degrees okay now with the object selected hit G and then the letter Z like in zoo or zebra and that'll move it straight up and you just want to move it up to where uh, if you hit this X here and then hit G and Z to where it's like right above the ground like that now I'm not no uh, person that knows much about speed how fast you gotta go to complete a loop or any of that stuff this to me looks like quite a big loop like you'd have to be going 500 miles an hour to make it around that um, now I don't know but what we'll do is uh, we'll make a few of them <laughs> different sizes um, alright before we make a few though let's finish one let's get one of them finished so uh, you can delete that cube not cube I'm sorry don't delete the cube you'll delete your loop delete your empty uh, we can remove that car in a little while but for now um, let's do this add empty plane axis add empty plane axis All right double click on it and name it base zero zero name the other start zero one hold down shift or pick start zero one hold down shift move while holding shift and left clicking and dragging you can move that start into uh, into uh, base zero zero so you got this here now what we're going to do is take this cube 
and move it into start zero one. You can delete the camera, you can delete the light, and so now you just got base zero zero, start zero one, and inside of there you got your cube. Alright. Go to object duplicate or hit shift D and then before you hit any left mouse buttons just hit escape and it'll stick it right there where the other is that'll be your collision map or collision mesh double click the copy here and call it C-O-L-M-E-S-H dash one and now that'll be the collision mesh and then we got the object uh, now on the object uh, pick the object uh, material properties uh, base color image texture and you can try to load a picture from the game uh, if you want uh, like asphalt or something um, I'm gonna go into my uh, one of my decals folder for the game and just get like just a uh, seamless like asphalt actually I may have one on my desktop um, well it's not seamless but it's just a picture I don't really care about the seams alright let me see that's all screwed up what I should have did is applied this to uh, well it's not too late to fix anything let's go to UV editing and uh, actually do this this is how you can fix it with x-ray selected in edit mode like I'll go back in edit mode with x-ray on select everything and say UV unwrap alright now go to UV editing and it'll fix the UVs now you can hit this here to see the viewport shading and zoom in kinda close and you can see what's going on now what we're gonna do is select all this hit R Q I mean I'm sorry R control and rotate it and it's not making any difference so let's see if we can damn it's not changing a thing try this let's go back to layout let's try to do UV or go to edit mode and with everything selected go to UV and say smart UV project oh shit I'm sorry y'all got it no wonder I wasn't seeing no damn change the collision mesh isn't what we're doing the UV editing on you have to undo the little eyeball on the collision mesh alright damn I ain't thinking in edit mode select everything okay now go to UV unwrap oh it should have already been unwrapped now hit R and then hit Q to rotate and this is where we gotta kinda see hit S to scale it uh, you can, let me see scale Y uh, S, S X alright uh, S Y I'm just trying to scale it to the uh, let me zoom out so you can see how it's scaling it S Y and I'm scaling it this way Alright, and 
I can see on the right side the texture is correct now. Then left click and you can hit layout and go back and see the texture is now correct on there for like some asphalt road. Which it might be scaled a little large, uh, but it's better than nothing. So we got this here. Alright, now. Let's select the cube in in object mode here. Select the cube, select the collision mesh, turn the eyeball back on, hit shift D, and then hit G Y, and then just move it out so it's uh, over here somewhere. Now hit S to make it smaller. And then hit uh, G and Z to move it down. Or you could have hit move and moved it with the blue thing. So we got a smaller one and we got a larger one. And what we're going to do is just get it close to the ground or we can move it in the game but we'll just get it close to the ground here now we got a large loop we got a small loop let's make one about in the middle so you can hit shift D to make a copy and hit G and hit Y to move it over some more and now you get S and make it a little larger depending on where it's at you can just move it. We just want to kind of get it uh, close to the ground here by moving this little blue thing or hitting G and Z to move it, whichever you prefer. Now we got three loops. Now remember the messed up texture is the collision mesh that you're seeing so keep that in mind now each one All right. undo the new the two new ones you got so all you got left are uh, these two with the eyeballs. Alright, once you know which two are the collision mesh and the cube, alright, wait a minute, I don't want to tell you wrong. Alright, do this. Select cube and then hold down shift and pick collision mesh one pick start zero zero base zero zero collection sync collection so you got all this selected you don't have the two duplicates selected or you don't have that car selected you just got these go um, wait, wait a second go to cube change the material to uh, loop just name it something different than material now that'll change it for all these so don't worry about changing it for the others it automatically do it and uh, just remember the name of the texture that you used now we're going to export it it's going to copy it into the new folder so you don't have to move the folder I mean move the file it'll do it for you So with the cube, collision mesh, start base, zero, zero collection, and start, uh, or scene collection. With all these selected, go to file, export, DAE. Up here, select selection only. Make sure this is on, you should be on by default, where it's copying a texture. Put the loop in your folder that you want to play it on. I'm going to put it in my, my project 3 miscellaneous, 
miscellaneous folder which you put it in your track folder in your art folder and you can stick it in like the shapes uh, or just somewhere in your art folder in one of them folders I'm gonna call this loop one and I'll export it all right now I'm going to take the cube and the collision mesh one here and I'm going to delete them so now I just got the copy the two copies I got the uh, larger one and the smaller one so I'm going to go to the next size like the medium now I'm going to go to object duplicate hit escape rename this one collision mesh one The reason why I didn't say uh, duplicate the other two and make collision mesh one is because Blender you can only have one file or one mesh you can only have one name per mesh you can't have a duplicate name it would just put a point oh oh at the end and that wouldn't uh, work so now that you duplicated the uh, mesh with the other mesh hit uh, control and select uh, that cube, that new collision mesh, start base collection, scene collection, and export this as a DAE in that same folder and call it like loop two and make sure scene se uh, se selection only and copy texture selected, export collider now select the collision mesh and this cube and delete it and then the next size the smallest size we'll select that duplicate object hit escape name one of them c-o-l-m-e-s-h dash one now you can hit control and select them like this but if you hit shift and select them all you just have to make sure there ain't nothing in the middle that you ain't sending over there too so once you get them selected file export collider call this loop 3 selection only a material should already be over there they're all using the same one but you don't have to worry about it just hit export now let's get into the game damn that took a long time I'm debating on posting this load that level that you sent them to now we gotta make the material first before we bring in the models so hit F11 when it loads A new material and loop create and you'll get this up come up here pick color map now this is where you're going to uh, look for that file image 8124 it'll be in uh, where you exported it like I put it in my art shapes miscellaneous folder so 81 there it is alright now I'll go to advanced I'll tell it to be double sided receive shadows I'll hit lighting anastrophic filtering and we're not going to fool with all the other Stuff or the PBR stuff for this, we just want to save. Now let's uh, get away from our vehicle, find a good flat space that you want to test these loops. I got a little spot right here. I'm going to go to the window asset browser and I'm going to go to all models and type loop. So I only see one loop. 
I don't see I'm missing one. That's okay. We'll just stick one of them here. And we'll put the other one there. Which I don't see the other one. I only see one of them. I did something wrong. I only see one of them. Yeah, I did something. I screwed something up when I exported it. Maybe because uh, the mesh has got this zero zero one after it. Let me take that off of there. Let me try it again. Which I'm not going to see it update. Uh, may let's see loop two is the one that didn't work and loop three is missing export loop two okay it fixed it but I'm still missing one loop I might have stuck it in a different folder not really realizing I stuck it somewhere else. So I got two loops here. Now if you see this twinkly in my texture, do you see that? If you make DDS files for your textures and you use MIP map, you won't see that crap. That's just something uh, to do with like uh, the, the MIP mapping. I don't know how to explain it other than it just redraws the texture uh, many different times uh, depending on the size of something and because of power of two it can multiply or divide it evenly and it won't do that crap but uh, now we also didn't I, I did not tell you to uh, scale the smaller ones width wise so they're, they may be too small to go around them damn I didn't mean to do that <laughs> move my damn terrain alright uh, you can lock your terrain by the way so that don't happen accidentally just hit the little lock button up here on the side next to your terrain and uh, you won't accidentally move it but you also can't uh, do do anything else to it either. But it's good to lock it when you know you're not going to be modifying it or painting on it. Alright, these loops are at the bottom. I'm having a hell of a time clicking on this loop too. And since I didn't do the origin, the origin screwed up because uh, you see this is the actually origin point. What I should have did is told y'all to select them both, go object, set origin to 3D cursor, object, set origin, geometry to origin, and then move them up to uh, the ground. And see, this is this will be where your things appear in the game, like near the center of the object so let me uh, show you how you can export these and it'll change that there might be something somebody's wondering like why is all my damn stuff I make the damn uh, little handlebars all over the place all right now you see how it fixed it where like the uh, they're relative to where the object is they're not like uh, way to hell over here you know so that's what the re that's what one of the things that you have to do all right let's get this like right at the ground I won't bother making a road I think the ground will be my road Alright, now that we got our objects placed, let's uh, 
actually I'm gonna have to make a road that is not gonna be is that gonna be enough no, it probably ain't gonna be enough room to get up to speed we'll just stick a mesh road here to here damn it hit control A to select both points and over here in the inspector change the width to something I know I got plenty of road and I hate that texture I'm just gonna stick something else on there just to have something different all right let me uh, make sure that the road is gonna drop off so it kind of like blends into the loop there it should be close enough and I pick this end up here just a little bit all right now we gotta go to edit rebuild collision Hit F11, get out of your editor, and fly over to your, the end of your road. Then hit F7. Right. Let's get something with a little, little speed to it. Get my PS5 controller. I don't have a PS5, I just bought a controller. Works great in Steam, by the way. Don't work worth a shit on Xbox Game Pass. <laughs> or Ubisoft Store stuff. Or GOG. Uh, or it may work on GOG, I don't know. It don't work on anything but Steam, I believe. Let's get a little car with a little speed to it. And maybe something kind of high off the ground. I don't know what the hell to put really y'all. Uh, this drag racing uh, hopper spawn the replace current. Alright. slow motion and I still can't make it around the damn <laughs> slow motion and still cannot get around the damn loop
I should have did the first time. fix this texture because that looks like crap sparkling like that I'm gonna make it a DDS file I'm gonna zip it with the uh, loop and uh, put it on one drive if anybody wants it Let's see if this loop works description but yeah I'll fix this so this isn't twinkly like that and you saw me make it around it so it's possible just remember when you stick it on your level wherever you stick it just remember that you gotta go to edit rebuild collision before you can you know run into it that'll be all for today I'm deciding whether I want to post this or not post it that's <laughs> messed up a few times but like I said at the beginning it was gonna take me a minute to figure it out again